Hello everyone, welcome to my um, uh, RPA training, uh, UI path training. So uh, I'll be doing the assignment, uh, advanced assignment part three now. It's been a long time, I posted part two. Now it's time to do the part three video. So in part two, we have, uh, we got all the details of um, uh, WI5 type, uh, WIDs. So uh, till this part, we uh, have already completed in part two video. So let's move on to the next part. Our next part would be, we would be um, going like going to each and every uh, uh, URLs. I'll be showing you. We have to go to each and every page of this uh, of type WI5. We have to click on this, but uh, it's kind of an image which I won't be feeling much comfortable while clicking on this. So I will take, you can see the URL here and we get this WID here as well. So we can make this a uh, variable. So let me attach the browser so first we have to do a for each loop because we have already extracted extracted our data into wi5 data table which contains only uh, all the w double ids with only um, uh, type as wi5 and status as open now i'll be doing a row item get row item row we will get the w double id numbers so it will be w double id column column name then value let me store it as w i i d and the variable let me make the scope as generic or global now now what we have to do let me attach the browser because i want to use the same browser so i'll be attaching the browser so this is the browser window which i'm gonna attach let me check the selector of this browser window it's fine then we are going to navigate so it's the same way we are going to use the url here it's going to navigate to this page so i'm going to use the url here i'm sorry url here but in place of this w double id i'll be putting my variable which i have created or which i'm getting from the data table so for each row in this data table it's going to go to this um clients page and it's going to extract the client information as well so for that i'm going to get text so i'm going to do get text and enter the indicate so this a whole thing we need client id client name and client country but in a separate way now we are getting it a fully all the client details so i'm going to put it into a variable say client information so let me change the scope also here make it uh, global then we're gonna do some kind of string operations here so that we will get all those uh, values uh, separately those client ids and all first for string operation i'll first make it as client parts because it would be coming as an um, array of string and something like that so uh, we will get it in parts so i'm gonna make the string operation now first is client information let me trace this window dot split so there are various options that we can use here you can see what are the options i'll be using this option because we need separators as well to get the client ID particular client ID only so I'm gonna start with 
separators separators first separator is my id name name is id and it ends with client and space name after id we have a semicolon i'm gonna add that as well so this is done id and client name and then we are going to use a string split options dot none okay so now we got three parts here one okay so the error is i have to change the client parts variable type to which is array of string it should be an array of string because we are storing parts here we split it and stored it in parts so this is gonna st be three uh, stored in three ways one is id and one other one is the id that we are getting it and uh, client name so i'm gonna assign again and we will retrieve the client id now i'm so sorry i'm gonna retrieve the client id now client id which would be client parts one and we put it as dot trim okay so we got our client id similarly for client name and client country i'll be doing the same operation exactly so i'm gonna put two more assign and use the same client parts and I'm going to copy this whole content from here and we'll put it here only thing we need to change it here is this place I'll be changing it as name and here I'm going to change it as country name and country correct then we will make another variable client name and we will be storing the name from the client parts which has the index one again we'll be using trim just to avoid all the spaces and uh, like any forward spaces or like any kind of extra spaces we're gonna avoid it then i'm gonna do same thing for client country as well so i'm gonna again client parts i'm gonna copy this information here again paste it here and create a client country variable and client parts one dot trim uh, let me correct it here as well I have to correct the values here the values should be uh, they should be country I guess country correct and this one I believe there was no uh, space there so after country there is nothing so it's blank only so I'll keep I'll keep it blank so it's nothing only this much after country we need to uh, get the value so this is how we are getting let me put a message box for our so I'm gonna print it as client ID so in this way we need to enter the value in uh, the SHA-1 website as well uh, to get the hash key so uh, similarly oh I'm so sorry this way we're gonna print it so similarly client country and here I'm gonna give again the same space and a, a dash 
so we are going to print it in this way and we'll see how we are getting the first value first let's check for the first value I'm gonna go to the I'll press back so now this message boxes everything is deleted I'm gonna run the code and let's see how it is working run file hope it works fine without any issues so now it is doing the data scrapping after doing the data scrapping it's, uh, scrapping, it's gonna um, uh, filter the data as per wi5 and status open then it should go to client information page and retrieve the client information so data strapping is done it should go to client information page now it should navigate actually as per our command which we have given or it's gonna fail uh, it worked fine and yeah we have correctly uh, got all the client information details so our next part is we are gonna print the same thing in SHA-1 here and we'll click on hash and we'll get that hash key and we will update our client information to complete like here we have to add our comments which should be the hash key and the status we should select at as completed and update the work item similarly we we are going to do it for all the wi5 details so you can check my next part video where i'm gonna do the rest part so uh, it it would be in my next part uh, number is part four so uh, till then bye thank you